I'm Lainey. Let's start crafting and make it till we smile. Shall we begin? I found this egg at the Dollar Tree and I'm using my Waverly Plaster Paint. And I'm going to paint, I end up painting the whole entire egg. I was thinking of doing, as you can tell, a gray top in the white bottom, but I decided to do it a dry brush, kind of mix it all in. And it kind of gave a really pretty look, like a swirl, a swirl airbrush look. I really liked it. So now I'm getting this ribbon that I used from, that I did get from the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to wrap it right around the egg. I did not go fully to the bottom. I just wrapped it to underneath. You can have it where it reaches together or not I guess <laughs> I just thought well you know I'm just gonna put it slightly on the bottom since we're not gonna see that bottom and I just put my glue on the edges just to make sure that ribbon stays real nice and tight and flat on the bottom So now that I did that, this is so easy and so fast, budget friendly, guys. And it comes out absolutely gorgeous. I know you're going to love it. If you like modern farmhouse or farmhouse, I think you would love this. So now I'm just making a simple bow, folded it over, pinched it in the middle, and tied a ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's like a see-through satin ribbon, black. And I just tied it really tight, double knot in the middle and had it all hang with some tails. Looks so pretty. It gave it kind of an elegant look to it. I did fluff my bow and I glued the bottom of the bow, just two little dots on each side, just so the bow stays where I want it. And I do the same with the tails. So now I'm adding some moss just above that bow on top of the egg. Yes, I love my moss, especially during spring and Easter. It gives it that fresh fairy tale, magical, whimsical feel. And I absolutely love moss. Beautiful. So now I'm using these flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use two sets and you get this really pretty flower. It's like a dried flower, cream color. It has a little bit of sticks on it. I call them sticks, and I think they are gorgeous. And I thought it looked so beautiful with that moss and that ribbon, gorgeous. So I'm getting one more. And I'm going to glue it right behind the other flower. And now I'm just going to put a little bit more. I thought, hmm, I'm looking at it. It's so pretty just like that. But, you know, Miss Crafty Lini, I got to add some more. So I ended up adding some more, um, another little ribbon to the side. And it's the lace ribbon. It's a cream color that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I did, as you can tell, add a little more moss to my egg. Those flowers came with these little green berries that I just popped off and glued them in different spots. This egg you can decorate with anything. I mean, you can use the dry flowers like, like what I used, or you can use baby breath. You don't have to put any flowers. Just moss with some of the little beads would look pretty or some baby breath that would look pretty. I mean, it's to whatever your heart desires. So pretty. But I wanted it to have this country, modern country feel to it. And I hope I did accomplish that. But oh, I fell in love with the way this egg turned out. And I'm looking at it and I'm showing you close so you can see all the beads, BBs. They're not BBs, they're like little 
styrofoam green balls. They look so pretty. And the flowers and with the moss. I used the magical spongy moss that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I used deer moss from Dollar Tree. So I did use two different kinds of moss. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, what else should I put on it? And it's missing something. It needs some lace. So I put some lace all the way around. It's actually like a ribbon fabric lace that I get at the Dollar Tree. They carry it all the time. It's really easy to find there. And I just glued the egg where this where it stuck together, where it closes together. I just put a bead of glue right along that seam and put my ribbon right around that egg. And I thought it just gave it that nice, beautiful finishing touch. Matches beautifully with the flowers. Oh, so pretty. And there's my bow I added right to the side of those flowers. And I just put it on one side. And there's my egg. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Mm, beautiful. I did add some of this. It's like a netting. You get it with your onions. I know I save everything. And I got a little piece of this that I had spared and I added it to one side just to give it kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a whimsical, what, you tell me what you think it is. Look, I'm, I don't even know what to call it. It's so beautiful though. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. Okay, lovelies, this video is part of the DIY Buddy Bunny Hop. Please, in my description box, go check it out because that's where you will find the next creator to hop along to. Don't forget to be entered in this giveaway. You must leave a comment on everybody's video as you hop along. It is a $100 US dollar giveaway. So I hope you have fun. Good luck. Don't forget, check the description box for all the details. So here we go. DIY number two. So now I'm getting some spackle that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna dip my finger in that and put it right in the hole where I removed the string on this little cute bunny. I love mixing both paints together, the white and the gray, and I'm just going to paint over it and I like the way it gives it a white streak with the gray. I don't know, it just looks pretty to me. Uh, you can do it all white or you can do it all gray if you like or whatever color. So now I added some more of the white over it, a light, well, it looks more of a light gray once you mix it all together because I really don't like letting my paints dry fully when I do this kind of paint because I like it to blend really nice. So now I'm just getting that stick and I'm just putting some, following along the stick with my paintbrush with some Apple Barrel acrylic black paint. And it doesn't have to be neat, guys. So now I'm getting a piece of sponge and I am just dipped it a little bit into my gray and just dry brushed it. And then as you can tell, I went again. Always, always remember, this is great, I'm showing you. Always, always remember when you are painting, if you put too much dark, put some more light. If you put too much light, put a little more dark and then go over and just until your eyes are smiling. That's all it is. Don't be afraid to do certain things and think, oh, you know what? It's too much because it really isn't. I know you can do this. So now what I'm doing is I got some ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting a bunch of strips. I believe I did five to each strip and then this striped one I got from the from Walmart yes I'm getting tongue-tied I'm so sorry I need to slow it down <laughs> so now I'm doing ribbon and I'm just piling them every other color or every other ribbon
very simple. I love my wild crazy bows. I call them crazy bows. I absolutely love using these and doing them. They don't have to be perfect. You, they, you cut them different lengths. I love putting different tails on them. And it's just, to me, a fun bow to do. I, I actually love these bows more than the puffy bows. I just love the crazy bows. So fun. They make it festive, fun. I don't know. I love them. Tell me, what kind of bows do you like? Do you like the crazy bows, the traditional bows? I call traditional bows like the shoe type bows. Fluffy bows, you know, the big fluffy ones. What's your what's your favorite bows? Tell me in the comments. I'm really curious. So see, I'm just cutting tails. Just whatever I feel, that's just what I'm cutting. Because it's a crazy bow. It's not supposed to make sense. <laughs> So now, after I do that, I cut the, the plaid ribbon. I cut the, some of them in half, and then I just kind of ripped it a little just to get some of those. I don't know. I like those strings that when you rip something, you have those the threads coming out. I don't know. I really like that on a crazy bow because it's crazy bow. So after I do this and everything, do all my tails, I do glue the bow. I fluff it out again and I put the bow, I glue it right on my bunny. I would like to mention and invite you to my Saturday shows. I have a Saturday show called the Crafty Alini Show. It's so where we do DIYs, have fun, it's after, after hours, DIYers after hours. I'm telling you, it's crafters after hours. <laughs> we have so much fun. I hope you join us. It's a live show, 7 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. We have a special guest DIYer, and you get to meet all your fun DIYers. I'm guaranteeing you will have a blast. I hope to see you on a Saturday and say hi. So now I'm adding some moss in there because we do need magical moss, right? And these little carrots I got from the Dollar Tree. The decals were rub-on decals that I got from the Dollar Tree that I put on the little pots. And I just glued it in front of the bunny. Simple as that. And now I'm getting one of these signs, as you can see, Dollar Tree sign. And yep, I used a lot of paint. It took a lot of paint to do this. Uh, but I do like using this side of these boards because I do like that it already has a groove in the on the board. I did put some dry brush it with some gray on the lines. And now I'm softening those lines by adding some more. It's kind of like a dry brush tap motion I do to kind of lighten it up. And I always tell you guys, do not forget your sides because that makes it a finished look. The back, I'm never really, to be honest, worried about the back of my signs. <laughs> I just never worry about that. But my sides, I'm always stressing that those need to be done. So after I did that, I put some glue and I put quite a bit of glue behind my rabbit and I glued it right to my sign. And then I started doing a little more dry brushing with some gray. And it's not the whole thing. It's just, I just did it here and there just to give it, you know, that farmy look. And now I'm getting more of that ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this ribbon. I think it is one of my favorites to use. And I just put a spot of glue right underneath it, wrapped it to the back, and glued the back. So I put that spot of glue right in the center on my ribbon so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I put my glue gun right there, see on the seams? And then I just push down, careful for your fingers because it is hot, 
and then I pick it up and flipped it around and I did the back also. So now I'm looking. See, I play with everything I do. I always look at it and see, hmm, do I want it there? Do I want it here? <laughs> Until my eyes are smiling. I ended up gluing that metal spring that I got from the Dollar Tree and I glued it right on top of that wood. Okay, I hope I make sense. So now I'm putting that lace also. So everything, I like everything to twine in together. And I put that in the center and that was done. I hope you like this one because I really like the way that turned out. Here's number three, simple, fast, easy. I cut a piece of styrofoam and I put a big, I like not a big groove, just a groove in there. And I got this little sign that had three little signs on it. And it said, Happy Easter. And it had this real pretty little bunny on it. And I liked the glittery look. It wasn't a lot for me. It, I don't know. I thought it was pretty. I painted the back, as you can tell. I did the same method as I did the board that we did with the bunny sign. Same thing. I didn't want to put you through all that because you already seen me do it to that one. <laughs> I was saving you some time. So now I just cut some flowers all from the Dollar Tree. This little decorative ball from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut them up off the stems and just started putting them inside my styrofoam. I never glue my flowers. I just put them in there. So I put a wire with this bow and I just put it right, pressed it right inside the top of that styrofoam. See that? Oh, yes. And then this greenery I did get from Walmart. They have beautiful greenery. And I got this and I like to take them apart. And because it has, you know, different leaves. And I just take it apart and glue it to where I want or put it where I want. And that's what I'm doing. Just mixing them all in. I want it to have... A beautiful spring look and I never put my flowers like perfect because what flower lays perfectly none you could put flowers in a vase and they're not gonna lay perfectly so I always like things to look like if it's naturally wild <laughs> so now I'm adding some more in the back of my sign my candlestick this one's so fast. It took me like maybe 20 minutes to make, guys. Really quick, easy, and it's beautiful. Look at that little Mr. Bunny face. Isn't that cute? It's to me like a more whimsical modern farmhouse. I don't know what to call it. You guys help me out. Tell me in comments. What do you think? And there you have it. Oh, I need one more thing. Another ball right in the back. So then if you want to put it on a table or something or a, a tray, you can see both sides and it's all finished. So gorgeous. And I had to add some of my magical moss. Yes, I did. I added some of the deer moss and just a pinch and a pinch of that spongy mystery moss I call my magical moss. Love it. Adding one of the little lace ribbons from the Dollar Tree just below the bunny so he has a bow and I love the way it came out I hope you guys like it too I really do so please don't forget please give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel grow and it also lets me know that you like what I'm doing thank you so much for visiting me and don't forget go check out my description box and hop along to the next creator for great spring and Easter inspiration. I do have my Crafty Lini show live every Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. I do post weekly videos. It was my pleasure crafting with you all today. Thank you so much. Stay kind. Stay blessed. Bye.